All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and we are back for some more of the Paper Mario that's out of your door on the Nintendo Switch. If you did miss out during the last one, well, we are here now in our time of the final chapter. This is the Palace of Shadows, and there is going to be quite a bit of different boss fights here while we are going on into this way. Uh, starting off with the first of many different bosses that we're going to start off with first in this particular episode is that we're going to have to worry about battling here with the Dark Dry Bones. Now, this guy is very easy. Uh, if you do have like the right correct amount of badges any type of items with you or even if you've been doing a lot of different training like what we have been doing out here so far within the game uh you should be set to just go and just start lining up like crazy with having like vivian or even like having flurry or something else for that type of matter to do quite a bit of damage with the other different uh dry bones that are going to be there even with the dark bones of course uh but within these two videos for today uh not only are we just gonna be doing out here with the course of paper mario the thousand year door but we're also gonna be doing final fantasy 10 as well uh currently right now in final fantasy 10 we are still doing some other side stuff we are gonna have to head off into our way of the geos Giannio battle that is gonna be uh within the optional boss before heading on into where emma is gonna be and then that will be another said aeon to be added to the optional side of stuff and then hopefully by the time that we start reaching off to remium temple then we can get the last one and uh, be able to clear all that type of stuff and be able to continue onwards from there now, uh, here at this set place, uh, within our time of the Palace of Shadows, there is going to be some new enemies, so just make sure that if you are on your way to do a whole bunch of different tattling of some things, there is going to be some new enemies for you to go and do some tattling with. Uh, we already just met and met up with one of the new type enemies here. They're, those are going to be known as Swoopulas. Uh, they're basically like a, a vampire or bat. They like to go and suck up your health and whatnot, so uh, basically you want to be a little bit careful with those said guys because they kind of work in a way of like a fuzzy uh, which uh, that's not going to be good at all whatsoever but again if you do have some right and correct amount of attacks then you could go and destroy them pretty fast you shouldn't have that too much of a problem now, since we are going to have to deal with some of these different dry bones, uh, if you guys remember back at Hooktail's Castle, these guys are really annoying. Uh, these dry bones always do like to go and try to uh, basically always like to revive another type of person that's going to be out here and have another one. Now, mind you, uh, here in this set place, if you are going to be doing some training, these dry bones are going to be immensely helpful for that. Uh, and they do actually give off some pretty nice good EXP around over here in the set way. So if you are ever curious to go and get a lot of experience before you go and actually worry about heading into where Gloomtail is, um, but be all like uh, by all means you could go around right ahead for that. Um, now uh, here at this said way, uh, we are gonna have to uh, go and face off with another one of these said guys once again, and this time around we are gonna go and uh, get ourselves now with a new level up power right there. So we are gonna have to now go and uh, get ourselves a little bit trained up here. And there we go. And just like that, we are gonna have to uh, be able to move all the way over into the BP. Always great to go and have extra more BP, and I believe uh, during the time that I don't think you guys actually get to see this here, uh, but I do move around within some of my different badges, and I do add in the pretty lucky badge there, so that's going to be somewhat really helpful for that. So here we go, got the first of many of these said new type of bullet bills right here. Now these are known as bullet shills, I think, or something like that. I can't really recall what their names are, but we'll have to see that by the time that we go and meet up with Goombella. Uh, now, these guys are very annoying. They do hit you for six compared to, like, the three, I think, damage from before that they were able to go and do. So, uh, Bombshell Bill. Uh, these guys are, like, uh, really not all that too fun at all whatsoever for them to do what they need to do for their little exploding type of parts here. But we are going to have to meet up with the set actual uh, type of cannons that will be there as well. They are going to be a set enemy, so if you are going to have to tattle them out, well, we're going to have to do it here. Now, mind you, these guys are really easy. There's like a little like combo that I kind of like to do on these guys. That's just basically just setting up for Earth Tremor and then just using Vivian to just like uh, light up uh, the attacks that happen from here and you should be okay. Because, like, you don't really want these guys to be literally shooting out all those uh, bullet bills that are, like, all golden out here to do that six amount of damage. Because that's just going to be more of a problem. 
I remember when I went and first came into here in our time of like uh, the very first uh, Let's Play that we went and did of Paper Mario on the GameCube for the A Thousand Year Door. I know that uh, I had to run away from most of these cannons because my EXP training was absolutely garbage. <laughs> I did not do well with the level ups at all. I think I was like level... No, well, not even level, but I think I was like what? Like, I think I had like an HP of like 35 or something. That was like ridiculous. <laughs> Like, I had 35, like, uh, for the HP coming in. I think I had, like, 35 of, like, FP coming in into this. And I can't believe I actually, like, somewhat survived through, like, most of that. Having, like, 35 HP just for that Gloomtail battle and the Dark Bows battle. And also with the said Siren Sisters. I thought for sure I was gonna, like, probably get myself destroyed by one of those said three bosses there. But... But no, unfortunately, I got my butt handed to me all the way up until the point that Grotus was there, and also then the uh, Thousand Year Demon. And that was the first of many rage quits that has happened on this channel. <laughs> but here we go. This is also another new said enemy here. These guys basically work like the different type of lava bubbles that we see before, but these guys are like uh, phantom embers now. Uh, now, I think you want to be a little bit careful because I think uh, Gubella actually says that even if you try to set up with any type of fire damage, it seems like they're going to heal themselves back up, which that's not really fun. <laughs> I don't think you really want to do that. But uh, here we go. This is where we are going to be able to now go and start moving all the way over here to the Dark Bones. Yeah, now this place kind of does seem vaguely sim similar to like how Hooktail's Castle was all about. Kind of has a little bit of deja vu in this place. Because I know that previously before we had a battle with the pink dry bones. But now we got ourselves with the dark dry bones here. So, again, this guy's going to be, uh, well, I want to say it's going to be a little bit more faster than the counterpart from before. But either way, you could go and just grab him right away here. Okay, so let's go and start off with an earth tremor first. Just make sure that we at least go and knock out all of them down to four. Or at least somewhere in between there, because I'm going to try to at least make sure that we get like five or so. So we will have to try to bring them down to three. Three or four HP, depending on what I did here in this part. Now, we already know that most of these dry bones are like uh, in a pretty big type of health right now. And there we go. And just like that, we got the wonderful now and not even close. Yeah, so there's no excellent on that one, but we did go and drop them down to three, so that is perfect. And now we could go and just tattle our way, and then we could go and do a little bit of some editing here within the part of this set here for right now. Alright, so that's the Dark Bones, so that's all good. So yeah, so fire and explosions can do really well around over here, so if you have like Barbary or have Vivian or something... You could go and burn these guys down pretty nicely. And we do have Vivian, of course. And nice. We went and brought it down all the way down here to one. Just one more jump should do it. Yeah, and even if you try to do any type of jumps, uh, this man has some pretty gnarly defenses, though. But either way, we got it. And that's another level up right there. And that means we're going to put that right towards to our HP now. And that means we have finally made it up to our max, like, I, I don't know, I think it is, like, our max limit, right? I think we could go up a little bit more, but I could be wrong. Because, like, right now we're sitting at 50. Like, we could get all the way up to, like, 55 if we needed to, but... Technically, this is kind of, like, the best type of number right here to be at for Mario is being at around, like, HP 50. Alright, and I think with that being said, we're going to end things off here for today. See you guys in the next one, and of course, peace.